the No Central, I'm Mercedes Abelos. And I'm Kimberly Clark. And these are your Red Devil TV announcements. Your March character traits are initiative, self-reliance, and perseverance. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage and dedication to pursue them. Walt Disney. Word of the day, forbearance. Meaning, patience, endurance, or toleration or of offenses. Attention juniors, would you like a service elective that will keep you on your toes during your senior year? We're not saying that there is never a dull moment, but we can have some pretty exciting ones. If you are interested, stop by the Media Center, pick up an application for Student Library Aid. Central Boys Golf Team plays Smith Station Boys Golf Team at Lakewood Golf Course Tuesday, March 4th. Led by Drew Welsh and Chase Abbott, with boys shooting a 77 each. The Central Red Devils outlasted the Smith Station Panthers by shooting a team score of 321 to the Panthers team score of 335. Player scores are Jewel Wells, 77, Chase Abbott, 77, Jerry Dudovan, 82, Tyler Bishop, 85, Chase Washers, 114. Camp Faith is sponsoring a college visitation field trip to Alabama State University Saturday, March 8th. The cost of the field trip is $20, which includes transportation and food. Interested students should sign up at Mrs. Jenkins' desk and pick up an information flyer. This is not associated with Central High School. The Spanish Club will meet in Ms. Ciancia room, room 418 today right after school. Anyone interested in Spanish Club and culture is free to attend. Central Gaming will be hosting a Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 tournament after school today in Ms. Palerino's room. The cost for non-Central Gaming members will be $5. The matches will be one versus one single or possibly double. Elimination matches and certain characters will be banned. Please see Ms. Palerino to sign up. USO will have its annual Hometown High Achievers Banquet on Saturday, March 22nd at the Columbus Convention and Trade Center. During this event, the award presentation will take place for the Teen of the Year, ages 13 to 16, and College Bound Student Awareness, ages 17 to 21. The winner for each category will be chosen based on his or her essay. The topics are as follows. Teen of the Year, does reality TV have a positive or negative effect on teens that are watching? College bound, if marijuana is legalized in the United States, what guidelines would you like to see implemented? Turn the essays into Miss Lovelock by 7.45 a.m. March 10th. Coach Dixon and the Central High School Red Devils baseball team would like to invite you to come see them play this Friday evening at Darnell Field. They are playing doubleheader with a game against Dothan High at 5 o'clock and Enterprise High at 7.30. They are off to a 10-1 start and would love to see a big crowd at Darnell Field. Admission for all Phoenix City school students will be $1 this Friday night. We hope to see you there. Go Red Devils! Shot track me results are as follows. Pole vault. Hunter Wilson, first place, won new price, no record, vaulted 8 feet 6 inches. Brandon Taylor, second place, three new price, no records, vaulted 8 feet 6 inches. There will be a student council meeting after school today. The soccer team beat the Smith Station Panthers Tuesday night 1-0. Congratulations, Red Devils, and remember, we all smells. Attention students, Maltresia Tatum, owner of CNM Tax Office and the Law Office of Stacey S. Jackson are presenting a prom giveaway. They will select one female and one male from any high school to become an entry. You must submit a 150-word essay about why it is important to stay in school. All entries must be in by March 20th. Entries can be mailed to their drop box at Attorney Stacy S. Jackson, 927 3rd Avenue, Columbus, Georgia, 31903. All entries will be judged on their essay. The giveaway includes dress and tux, makeup, hair, style, haircut, nails, and shoes. Attention students, there will be no prom day approval forms this year. However, there are a few rules that must be followed. The rules for your prom day are, they must be 19 or under, if older, you must get pre-approval. They cannot be suspended or be attending the Success Academy on the days before or after prom. Prom tickets will go on sale during sometimes next week on stage during lunch. Please listen for announcements for the exact date. The tickets will be $25 a piece. Everyone attending prom will need a ticket. Here is yesterday's ACT prep question answer and today's ACT prep question. You will have 45 seconds to complete. Welcome to the ACT mathematics portion of the test. I'm Mr. German. I'm going to help you explain, or I'm going to explain some of the problems you may encounter on the test. Remember, we're talking about the four-step approach for solving word problems designed by George Poyler. Understand the problem. Come up with a plan. Guess and check. 
use a formula, table, etc. Carry out the plan and check the results. Our first question for today, question number 15. If 3 to the x power equals 54, then which of the following must be true? So we have a range of values between, looks like between 1 and 5. Do we understand the problem? Well, we're given an expression here with an exponent of x. And we have to find x. Is x between 1 and 2? Is x between 2 and 3 and so forth? So in this case, we're simply going to use the guess and check method. Which means, I'm just going to start plugging numbers in there and see which makes sense. Clearly, some of y'all out there already know what the answer is. But let's walk through it anyway. We have 3 to the x equals 54. Well, what happens when x is 1? Well, 3 to the 1 power, or to the first power, is what? 3. Well, 3 is nowhere near 54, is it? So let's try a little bit bigger number. Let's try 3 squared. Well, 3 to the second power means 3 times 3. Well, that's 9. If you compare 9 to 54, we're still pretty far away. What about 3 cubed? Well, 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, or 9 times 3, which is 27. Well, we're getting closer, aren't we? We're getting closer. So it looks like the number's got to be greater than 3 so far. Let's try 4. So if x is 4, well, that's like saying 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, right? Well, that's 9. And that's 9. Well, 9 times 9 is 81. Well, now we have a number that's larger than 54. So clearly our answer must be, x must be between 3 and 4, because that would give us 27 and 81, which 54 lies between. So I would say the answer is between 3 and 4, which would give us answer C. Now our final step, we carried out the plan, we did the guess and check method. Did we answer the question? I think we did. Does it make sense? And I think it does. That ends our problem for today. These have been your Red Devil TV announcements. Have, have a great, great Red Devil Day. Devil Day.